Hi, how are you guys doing today? We're going to read a story that does some counting. And it also talks about a country that maybe you guys haven't heard of before. Uh, it's a country in Africa. And Africa is a giant continent. And these are people that live in different places. So the country that the story is talked based in is called Tanzania. So this is kind of a shape of what it looks like. And Tanzania has the tallest mountain in Africa. It's called Mount Kilimanjaro. And it also has the second largest lake in the whole world. And that's called Lake Victoria. So we're going to read um, a story about this. And it's actually a counting story about some kids who go on a walk. They call it, We All Went on a Safari. We all went on a safari. And they're walking around and checking out some of the different animals and some of the different stuff. And at the end, we'll talk about some of the different ways that they pronounce some of those animals. So this is called, We All Went on a Safari. So do you guys remember, what does the author do? Do you remember? The author is the one who writes the story, who writes the words for the story. And what does the illustrator do? The illustrator is the one who draws the pictures, right? And we're starting to talk about what a book is made of. So we've got what's called the cover page. We have the back of the book. And then we also have something. This is called this right here. That's called the spine. If you were to look really close, you would see the title on the spine. But it's really hard because the spine is so small. Your book's got a spine, just like we have a spine right? So the author of this story, her name is Lori Kreps, and the illustrator is Julia Cairns. We all went on a safari, a counting journey through Tanzania. So look, they're starting to walk and check stuff out. We all went on a safari when the day had just begun. We spied a lonely leopard. Arusha counted one. Can you guys find the leopard in the picture? They're pointing at it. We all went on a safari over grasslands damp with dew. We came across some ostriches and Mosi counted two. You see? Number two. One, two. Grasslands are when you see far and it's just a bunch of grass that you see there's a lot of grasslands that are in Africa. We all went on a safari past an old acacia tree. Nearby giraffes were grazing, so Tumpe counted three. You see the giraffes? One, two, three. An acacia tree, that's this tree here. It's a kind of tree that they have that grows there in Tanzania. We all went on a safari to the ancient crater floor, we heard some lordly lions, and Wombi counted four. You see the lions here? We've got one, two, three, four. We all went on a safari, where the lake birds swim and dive. Up bobbed some hefty hippos, Aquila counted five. One, two, three. Four, five, five. We all went on a safari among herds that intermix. We followed woolly wild beasts while Tande counted six. You see the woolly wildebeests up here? One, two, three, four, five, six. We all went on a safari with the sun high in the heaven. We spotted zigzag zebras. Zalara counted seven. Do you see all those zebras in the background? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We all went on a safari near the Serengeti Gate. We startled wiry warthogs. Sahuba counted eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We all went on a safari where the treetops intertwine. We met mischievous monkeys, so Dodo counted nine. So you see this? We've got one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We all went on safari through a rocky hillside glen. We watched enormous elephants. Umbudro counted ten. To see all those elephants, guys? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten elephants. We all went on safari in the sunset's fading light. We built ourselves a campfire and bid our friends good night. See, there's lots of animals in the background. Do you recognize any of them from the story? So we have in here some different names that they used to call some of the animals. And we're going to just go over those a little bit. So if you look, the first animal that we saw was a leopard, right? And a leopard is pronounced chewy. A lion is called a simba. An ostrich is called an mbuni. A hippopotamus, can you guys say hippopotamus? That's a big word, huh? Is called a kiboko. A giraffe is called a twiga. A wildebeest, remember the willy wildebeest? A wildebeest is called a nayumbu. A zebra is called a pundamilia. See that? A warthog is called a nigri. And a vervet monkey, because that's the kind of monkeys that were in this story, that's called a tumbili. Tumbili. And an elephant is called a timbo. So you see how they have their language just a little bit different than ours, right? Different people from different places speak different ways. This is about the Maasai people. And it, in the story here, it talks about how these people live in what is called a pastoral co culture. A pastoral culture, that means that they take their animals out to pasture and they watch them and they take care of them that way. So these people maybe live a little bit different than we do. So I want you guys to think about the different places and we'll maybe talk some more about Tanzania and some different cultures and some different people and the way people are different. So you guys have a really good day and I will see you soon.